Sarah Khan appeared on Loose Women to discuss the controversy over H&M. The retailer faced backlash for using an image of a black child wearing a green hooded sweatshirt emblazoned with the phrase coolest monkey in the jungle. Sarah says she failed to make the racist connection and purchased the jumper. Loose woman's Sarah Khan has come to H&M's defense after the retailer was embroiled in a race row over a children's hoodie. The Swedish fashion chain has received backlash for using an image of a black child wearing a £7.99 green hooded sweatshirt emblazoned with the phrase coolest monkey in the jungle on its UK and US websites. And while many have been quick to criticise the chain, mother of two Sarah said she failed to make the racist connection and would even consider purchasing the sweater for her mixed ray son. Appearing on Tuesday's Loose Women, the panellist said, I looked at that, the photo, and I saw it and I just saw a little kid wearing a little t-shirt. I didn't even make a connection between racism and that top and I've got a mixed race child and I would buy the top because he is a cheeky little monkey. Sarah, 47, also remarked that you would have to be of a racist mind to find the jumper offensive. She continued, I think you have to have a racist mind to make that link. I don't look at my life through racism but now that it has been pointed out it does make me feel uncomfortable. I don't think H&M have done this deliberately. I think it's a genuine mistake because they have promoted a lot of diversity in their other campaigns. Her comments come just hours after the WEEKND cut ties with H&M following the backlash. The WEEKND, whose real name is Abel Tesfay, has twice collaborated with H&M and performed at the brand's spring 2017 fashion show. However, he tweeted on Monday that he will no longer be working with the retailer. In a statement shared with the Daily Mail Online, H&M said, We completely understand and agree with his reaction to the image. We are deeply sorry that the picture was taken, and we also regret the actual print. We have removed the image from all our channels and the sweater is no longer for sale in our stores. We will also look into our internal routines to avoid such situations in the future. We will continue the discussion with the WEEKND and his team separately. The image has since been taken down from the site in the wake of the uproar, and H&M has issued a public apology after the photo prompted outrage on social media. We sincerely apologize for offending people with this image of a printed hooded top, the company said in a statement. The image has been removed from all online channels and the product will not be for sale in the United States. We believe in diversity and inclusion in all that we do and will be reviewing all our internal policies accordingly to avoid any future issues. The WEEKND released a second clothing collaboration with H&M in September, proudly sharing a photo of himself modeling a varsity jacket from the line to announce its launch last fall. It's unclear if the star was working on a third collaboration with H&M at the time of the announcement. After photos of the children's top took the internet by storm, Customers took to to question whether H&M were being casually racist, pointing out that monkey has long been used as a racial slur. Even those who doubted the brand was being racist admitted there should have been more awareness of how the image could be perceived. 
the campaign group Models of Diversity, which pushes for more diversification across the industry, said H&M should be ashamed. Other users were also quick to weigh in on the debate. One wrote, is this part of a publicity stunt? Do some brands want to be dragged on in order to gain more visibility? Another added, wow I mean, put it on a child of literally a n.